Hello, dear folks. Welcome to the show. East West with G and E TV. Jack Chow is my name.、Uh, Baltimore is the focus today. Once again, it is the focus. It's the second show of the series talking about the Baltimore situation.、Uh, joining me is my good friend and attorney,、uh, defense pro,、uh, criminal defense attorney,、uh, Mr. Dennis Chang,、uh, to the discussion. About the what's happening in Baltimore. Once again, Dennis, welcome to the show. Thank you, Jack. Good to be here. All right. Exactly like I said last time. If there's a crying baby, I bring the baby crying to you. Right.、Mm -hmm. So you can believe that you can handle it. No. Now, lots of us have read already, have seen already on the news、uh, about what's happening in Baltimore. There is lots of criticisms, or I believe they are right, about the writing, about the looters, about the arsonists, about the, the bad guys. Nobody is defending them unless they hire their own defense attorneys about whatever within law parameter of laws. What we are talking about is that behind the scene, is there anything to be looked into? Is there any consideration to be made? Or is it of、uh, of of significance to look at it different ways? So we're just checking. So, Dennis, please.、Uh, lots of my audiences might just get on, and they do not know what's happening, what happened in the first place. So, can you please start the whole thing by briefing our audiences with what happened, please? Sure, Jack. It, it'd be my pleasure.、Mm -hmm. uh, this this all started. A、um, few days ago, on、uh -huh. April 12th,、uh -huh. in Baltimore, a 25-year-old African American man named Freddie Gray、mm -hmm. was riding a bicycle, and、uh, he was approached by a couple of Baltimore police officers. And what was called unprovoked, he fled. He started running away or riding, riding away, away on his、yeah. bicycle.、Okay. Uh, he, there's no known allegations of any criminal conduct or anything、mm -hmm. bad or wrong that Freddie Gray did,、mm -hmm. other than simply tried to ride his bicycle away from the police. He was chased down,、uh, knocked down. There was some discussion that a taser was used, but it does not appear that he was tased.、Mm -hmm. But he was taken down, taken down to the ground,、uh, and restrained, taken into custody. A small knife was found inside of his pocket.、Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of argument as to whether that was a violation of law or not.、Mm -hmm. uh, it sometimes has been referred to a switchblade, which、wow. possibly would be illegal. If it was just a regular opening knife, it probably was not illegal. But like, a small like a pocket knife, something right?、Like mm -hmm. A pocket knife was found inside of his pocket, and a little clip was hanging outside the pocket,、mm -hmm. which was showing, which the police officers could see,、mm -hmm. at least after he was taken down into custody. I see. He was arrested、mm -hmm. um, for not real clear known reasons,、mm -hmm. but he was arrested, taken、mm -hmm. into custody.、Mm -hmm. He was put into a police van. He was not seat belted in the van, which apparently is their policy is to seat belt all people in the van.、Mm -hmm. He was not seat belted.、Mm -hmm. He, at some point, very quickly asked for medical attention. He was not provided medical attention.、Mm -hmm. He was then transported,、uh, and somehow, some way, we don't know how, we don't know why, we don't know when. But his neck was ending up 80% severed,、mm -hmm. and his larynx or his air pipe in his throat、mm -hmm. uh, was broken. He、uh, was then taken to a trauma center,、mm -hmm. uh, where he eventually went into a coma. He eventually died.、Mm -hmm. um, this has caused significant, major uprest in the city of Baltimore.、Uh -huh. It's caused massive protests, and more recently. Right after his funeral and his burial,、mm. uh, the city broke out in riots,、I、which、see. has now brought national attention to the city.、Mm. It's brought attention from President Barack Obama.、Mm. It's brought in 5,000 state troopers、mm. uh, from the state of Maryland into the city of Baltimore.、Mm. So、uh, it's been quite an uproar and quite an event that's、uh, been going on very recently.、Mm. Okay, so of course.、Uh, As we can see from all sorts of media,、uh, people give a lot of criticism about the、uh, writing, which is right, all right. And also,、uh, there are there are there are things 
that went to the most extreme. They overturned cars, they set cars on fire, they set shops on fire, they loot shops, they broke the windows, or whatever, and then they just, well, so in the way, the worst way ever, right? That's part of it. And do you think there should be attention given to the fact that uh, started from the death of that uh, gentleman to the funeral of the gentleman, uh, of, uh, of the death, and also from that point on to the looting though, things were peacefully protested, right? For the most part, that's correct. For the most that's part. That's correct, right. And the sources say it was not until the moment, a moment after the funeral, did it go wrong. Right. Right? Did it right. go awry? Right. So, so at that point on, that point, that of a specific point, if some, some efforts were given, right, to, to try to appease this situation, mm -hmm. do you think that's, that could be preventable? Well, I, I, it's, it's hard to say. Uh -huh. uh, the city did take some very clear efforts mm -hmm. to accommodate the protesters and allow the protesters. Yeah. The mayor mm -hmm. made some very public statements. The uh, <clears throat> police commissioner made some very public statements. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to give them some room. We're going to give them space to protest. We're going to allow them to march as long as it's peaceful. Mm -hmm. And there was very large, massive for the most part, peaceful mm -hmm. protests that did occur in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, things did not go well, and it got very out of control very quickly after the burial of uh, Mr. Gray. I see, I see. So there are two different opinions. Of course, I'm talking about the majority opinion and the minority opinions. The majority opinion talking about, they put 100% of the focus on the writing right. side and to the bad side of the story, right. and saying that they're bad guys, each, every single one needs to be da 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 so on and so forth, without having to think about what happened prior to that. What was the cause of it, right? right. Of course, by that, I mean a majority concern was about that something has been wrong mm -hmm. in the first place. Right. Should that not be wrong, there shouldn't be such thing that we are having now. Right. So, what's your take on that? Well, it there's a lot of very interesting stories and issues that mm -hmm. have arisen here, and, mm -hmm. and there's been a lot of criticism of the media, mm -hmm. particularly CNN. Uh -huh. And uh, the media and CNN have a large part focused on the rioters. Yes. And there's many other stories. Uh, mm -hmm. Certainly there's rioters, and that makes news, and yeah. that makes people watch, and that increases ratings and mm -hmm. increases advertising mm -hmm. revenue. But there's also a lot of stories about a large part of the community that came out with garbage bags and garbage cans and brooms and mops mm -hmm. and came out into the streets mm -hmm. and literally started cleaning up the streets. Sure, exactly. That was another big part yeah. of the story. Thank you very much for mentioning that because while doing my homework, I came across lots of pictures. I call it pictures of positivities rather than negativities. Or the helpers. The helpers. Right. And uh, those are in different groups. Uh, group number one talking about the fact, they depicting the fact about how they help cleaning up the mess. Right. The debris, even the looting the stores, right. even kids join them. And the portion number one, uh, I mean number two, is the fact that prior to the looting happened, mm -hmm. prior to that, there are lots of people that stood on the police side. Sure. And there was one, even one black guy trying to, 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 to convince them to go back, right. convince the, the, to go back, and right. behind him was the police officer. Right. He got in between the protesters yeah. and the police uh -huh. and tried to block off the protesters sure, sure, sure. from approaching the police. Yeah. And I believe my audience right now can join me in sharing about those pictures on the big screen that you can tell you how exactly people behaved at that moment. And that probably will indicate the protest itself right. has to be separating, separated from their writing. Right. So you don't want to confuse them, protest, the writing, writing, protest. They're different. They are orange and apples. Sure. Right. Sure. So do you think I'm taking a right take? Oh, absolutely. I, there, there's many different stories to, to present in uh -huh. this in this situation, and uh -huh. and I, I've seen them referred to as the helpers. I see. Uh, the helpers that are trying to calm the situation, mm -hmm. the helpers that are trying to clean up 
the, the mess that was made. I remember yeah. seeing a picture of a very small African-American boy mm -hmm. going up to the police and offering them bottles of water. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? I saw that too. Right. And okay, that picture probably we can do it right away. We can show you. Very small and, young and boy. And also there is a, there is a young man uh, next to him. as a little boy about five or six years old looking at the cops who are armed from, who are armed from head to toe to the teeth. Right. right? So in a puzzled eye like that. Right. What's happening? What's wrong? Like that right. kind. Of. Right. And all of them line up like next to each other, shoulder to shoulder, like a sure. wall. Sure. That image itself, does that constitute some kind of like, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a, very t it's a very touching picture. It is. Uh, but there's right? many layers. I mean, mm -hmm. there, there's some very dramatic, hateful, very criminal acts that have been going on. Uh -huh. And there's many, many more, I would think, helpers I see. that are, are trying to calm the situation and trying to mm -hmm. clean it up and trying to resolve right. this very unfortunate situation. For that, I have scheduled a show for tomorrow to uh, share with a, a former police officer of Santa Monica PD, a friend of mine, Mr. Joe Garner, to talk about it, about he, during his whole involvement in the community after retirement, was to do one word, communication, mm -hmm. to communicate. Mm -hmm. He calls on police department to communicate with the community, mm -hmm. and the vice versa, the community starts communication with the, the police department so that problem can be solved at the embryonic stage, sure. rather than a grown up adult stage that sure. you cannot handle, right? Right. Okay, now, my dear audience, today is the second discussion about the uh, Baltimore riot, and for that, I mean, there are different takes. I'm not taking any position to defend anybody who does the rioting, looting, whatever, even setting cars on fire, uh, shutting the shops on fire, broken the windows, whatever. I'm not defending those guys, those bad guys. I'm talking about there might be reason, might be excuses leading to that. At least some, somewhere, somehow, somebody or some organization or some department offer them an excuse to go worse, right? right. So, joining me, my <coughs> good friend, the defense attorney, the Honorable uh, Dennis Cham, a good friend of mine. Uh, so, we take a short break. When we come out, we find out from Gary's side, the poor guy Gary, did he deserve what he had received? So stay with us, please.